Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears and hearken unto me, for I bring you a tale of great glory and woe. Though we had crushed the nascent ambitions of the Indians and taken their capital for our own, though we had stomped and destroyed the nascent empire of the runaway Mongols and taken all of East Asia under Vietnamese dominion, Though even we had invaded Africa, returning the native lands to their rightful people and crushing our Congolese foes, and even then, though we have rearranged the map of North America, taking the Toltec, who dared stand against us, and grinding them upon our boot heels, though we have accomplished all this, it seems our march to glory has torn apart the fabric of reality itself. This world can no longer handle this much win. Yeah, that was unnecessarily dramatic, but... Oh, what can I say about what I'm about to tell you? Uh, so... Unfortunately, I am being forced to bring this show, this particular series, to a close. Not this show, as in the channel. The channel's still there. God, that's almost, almost scary. This particular Vietnamese TSL. Why? The game is now crashing. It is so unstable, I can't actually get to the next turn. Now, this is not the first time it's happened. I've recovered it about three or four times, just given the scale of the, the map and the uh, kind of processing involved in the background, all the mods that we're putting it on. So I've recovered it about four times already. This time, however, it's down for the count. I tried everything what I normally do, uh, and, well... You know, there's nothing doing. I can't recover it. I tried to replay the turn. I tried to go back. I tried to do the usual tricks I do to make it fix itself and no can do. So unfortunately, um, we were definitely on the way. Definitely on the way to a tourism victory here. I think we would be able to crush Argentina and Nazca pretty well. We were already dealing with the Toltecs. Just a few things left. Uh, but there is nothing I can do about it. Unfortunately, I have to bring this to a close. I hate doing stuff like this, but you know, mods tend to get unstable, um, especially with bigger maps like this. You saw what's happening with the constant anarchy and constantly losing our capital. Things get weird. Now the turns won't turn over. Little things that you didn't expect to be a major incompatibility problem early turn out to be one later. It's the nature of the beast. Uh, but I got to say, I did have one hell of a good time bringing this one to you, honestly. This was an absolute blast to play this TSL. And luckily with Civ, it's more the journey rather than the destination, honestly. And I hope you enjoyed this journey with me. Uh, we're going to be bringing out a new series right off the bat. No worries. Civ ain't going anywhere. It's kind of what started the channel. And, you know, I love me some Civ. Uh, but it's this one's going to have to come to an end. So we're going we're gonna to chalk that up as to, yeah, we probably won that with tourism, given enough time. But unfortunately, we can't really pull that off anymore. Uh, but I gotta say, just since we don't have that usual summary in the end, I can safely say we have the biggest land mass and probably the biggest military in the game right now. That's relatively simple, I think. We just look at rough scores here. Uh, it's not gonna be, there's no, is there, is there, here we go. We look at our military, right? Our military, uh, we don't have a military number here, but if we look at technology, we're the highest on tech. We're probably the highest from one, and we probably are the biggest on population of land as well. Like, not even close, really. So we are the biggest member on the map <laughs> effectively and you know we're on our way to domination in some way in this case tourism uh i gotta say it was pretty fun though to have the initial if we think back to how this game even rolled out getting these cities established getting saigon up here before the indians could move in and block off this pass was critical early getting saigon there we basically fought off the kulin from the south trying to take haiphong with the help of Singapore, which is kind of crappy, but, you know, we did it. Then we had to stop all the Mongols for, like, I don't know, 20 generations of noble Vietnamese soldiers stopping the Mongol advance and getting letting Ukraine and Russia basically take pieces of the western side as well, stabilizing that part of the region. And that was probably the longest, the most ridiculous war I've ever had to deal with in any Civ game. That was pretty epic. I remember that probably that war alone probably takes off, like, 20, 20 some episodes in this series. Pretty crazy. And then once we had kind of the technological advantage, we basically just ran an absolute train through Africa, wrecking Congo, who was the next closest rival we had. Liberated a bunch of stuff. We liberated the Ashanti as well, then the Spanish took them over again. Nature of the beast, I'm afraid. Uh, but we did liberate, <laughs> somehow the Maasai are still around, probably because the Spanish don't have easy access to them. And then we started working on the Toltec, right? And we've been selling cities, we've been giving cities away. Trying to establish happiness and basically wrecking what we need to in order to get tourism up. Because we have pretty much nearly every single civilization 
who we're almost influential with. Save the two we're going to kill. I mean, Canada's coming in a couple turns. So really, this was this is more or less in the bag, provided the game didn't crash. Yeah, it happens. It happens. We had great uh, musicians, if need be, to get the Cooling Spain on board, but we probably would have gotten them naturally. This would have worked out had we the opportunity. But I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope you enjoyed the journey. I mean, I sure as hell did. This is actually a lot of fun. It was pretty epic, almost as epic, or even more epic, honestly, given the scale of the warfare than the uh, Lenin TSL. If you haven't checked that one out, that was an absolute blast, too. Uh, but I'll be back next time with another Civ series, another crazy little scenario that I'm going to cook up full of mods and, you know, the usual insanity I tend to bring you. And until that time, I've been Nurse. Thanks so much for tuning in. And as sad as it is to bring this one to a close, I would say, in my opinion, prematurely, not much I can do at this point, and I'll see you all next time. And we'll call this a victory question mark till then